Since the 16th century, Antwerp has been one of Europe's cultural capitals. Thanks to its age-old commercial activities, and in particular the international diamond trade, Antwerp is a dynamic and modern financial center where all the internationally renowned banks have a firm foothold. Antwerp, a city where diamonds sparkle, where international trade and industry go hand in hand. Antwerp has been the diamond center since the 15th century, consistently outstanding for the craftsmanship of the Antwerp diamond polishers and its unique infrastructure. Antwerp, the city where diamonds acquire their brilliance. Antwerp, world diamond center. Within an area of barely two square kilometers, Antwerp accommodates thousands of offices, diamond workshops, and four out of the 22 existing diamond bourses. This is the world famous diamond district in Antwerp where we come to buy our diamonds. Of all the diamonds in the world, more than half find their way to Antwerp where they're traded at one of the four diamond bourses in the diamond quarter in all qualities, colors, weights, and prices. Rough, polished, and industrial diamonds, the precious object of a brisk trade. Trading here is done in the hundreds of thousands or millions. These figures limit Antwerp diamond dealers to only large importers and distributors. Hi, I'm Ronnie Miller from Meyerland Jewelers. I'm here in the Master Jewelers buying room in Antwerp, Belgium. As a Master IJO jeweler, Meyerland Jewelers gains access to the Antwerp Diamond Dealers. This access gives Ronnie Miller an incredible price and quality advantage. Meyerland Jewelers sorts through hundreds of diamonds, selecting only the very best quality at the very best price. This process is difficult and requires an incredible amount of concentration. Meyerland Jewelers must spend several days sorting through diamonds. Here in Antwerp, I have access to a vast inventory of diamonds. Antwerp, a city where diamonds can sparkle in abundance, where diamonds are turned into brilliance thanks to the numerous support facilities transport companies and security firms, specialist banks and insurance companies. Now let's take a look at how diamonds are mined, then brought here to Antwerp to be cut and sold. A diamond is pure carbon formed deep in the Earth's core into a hard and rare crystal. Embedded in volcanic rock, diamonds wait to be mined. 250 tons of rock, sand, and dirt need to be moved physically in order to obtain one carat of diamond. There exists a wide variety of exploitation methods. The pipes of extinct volcanoes are mined by digging underground mine shafts. Diamonds are also mined from alluvial deposits. In the riverbeds, diamonds are extracted by sorting and washing the gravel that shoveled, pumped, or dredged up. Maritime mining is a more direct approach. Sandy coastlines are exploited by open terrace cultivation, where diamonds are explored with refined techniques as well as simply by hand. A diamond-bearing volcano pipe can also be mined by open cast mining. The kimberlite and lamproite blocks obtained by crushing, explosion, or quarrying are taken to the processing plant where they're ground and washed into a concentrated diamond-bearing residue. It's almost like looking for a needle in a haystack. The precious stone is explored with every possible means and modern technology. Tons of rock have to be worked for a few diamonds. No end of time, labor, and capital have to be invested. A complex search across all the continents, the most important diamond producing countries being Namibia, Botswana, South Africa, Zaire, Russia, and Australia. 
A large amount of the diamonds are shipped to the central selling organization in London. The CSO sorts the diamonds into thousands of different categories according to weight, color, and clarity. The same operation is also carried out in Antwerp. Here, too, automation has made its entry. State-of-the-art equipment is used to sort diamonds according to their inclusions, color, shape, and weight. Automation is a help, but it can't replace the expertise of the experienced sorter who is capable of sorting diamonds into 5,000 different categories. The destination of the diamonds is now becoming clear. The diamond is still at the beginning of its long journey from rough to polished stone. The diamond first arrives at the rough diamond expert. He examines each stone and decides how it can be worked to greatest advantage with the least possible loss of weight and with the greatest clarity. A carefully considered decision based on professional skill. The Antwerp diamond industry is characterized not only by its age-old craftsmanship, but also by the use of latest technologies. The application of the scientifically developed drawing program enables the diamond worker to get the most out of the rough stone, always taking into account the final weight and the perfect cut. Sawing diamonds is mechanical work that requires pure craftsmanship careful mounting of the diamond on the sawing machine, constant dusting with diamond powder, inspection of the stones, and so on. Sawing a rough diamond can take hours, days, or even weeks because the sawing machine saws at best two millimeters of diamond per hour. Thanks to the technological and scientific progress in this field, diamonds can now also be worked with a laser, as we can see here for drawing grooves. A practical and accurate tool to prepare for the cleaving of the stone by the experienced cleaver. Furthermore, the laser is also used to saw the diamonds. The laser makes it possible to divide the diamond at any angle. The diamond can be shaped in whichever way we wish without having to take the stone's growth direction into account. The laser adds a new dimension to the diamond saw's work in terms of accuracy, speed, and flexibility. The diamond is ready for brooding. The diamond is rounded, ready to be faceted into one of the many shapes, for example, brilliant, pear shape, marquee, or oval, the basis for the finished stone. Another asset of modern technology is the use of automatic brooding machines. As in traditional brooding, two stones are rubbed against each other until the diamond acquires the desired shape, the girdle. It's no longer necessary to interrupt the process. Time, precision, and quality profit by this new system. Staying at the top is the motto of the Antwerp diamond industry. Polishing gives the diamond its final shape. The stone has nearly completed its long journey. The diamond will be given a brilliant, pear, oval, marquee, heart, baguette, or other fancy shape. All in perfect symmetry and proportions. A fine example of craftsmanship. The diamond now acquires its luster, fire, and magical sparkle. Antwerp diamond cutters are considered the best in the world. Antwerp stands out for the perfectly controlled combination of its centuries-old craftsmanship and the use of state-of-the-art technology. Buying directly from Antwerp gives me a significant price and quality advantage and access to a tremendous inventory of diamonds. 